we have an annuity here or an equally spaced series of constant payments that continues for a finite number of periods. And so the payment amount is 76000 and the number of periods is eight years. But this one's a little bit different than what we uh, normally do uh, with our formulas. Um, here, the first cash flow occurs today. And so recall that in our traditional formulas, we, uh, we need the first cash flow to happen one period from today. And so we've got to make a little bit of an adjustment. And so we have a name for this uh, structure. The structure is called an annuity due. So annuity due is just an annuity with the first payment occurring uh, today. So let's start with our timeline. And since there are eight payments, the final payment will happen in year seven. So there's eight of these total. Okay. Now, if we wanted to use our financial calculator in the traditional way or use our Excel formulas or use our present value of an annuity formula, we have to recognize that um, that present value is going to apply as of one period prior to the first payment. And so that's going to get us out to some imaginary period minus one. And so if we go ahead and do that, if we solve for the present value, and just remember we've got the present value of our annuity, it's going to be at time minus one. Using our annuity formula or our financial calculator or Excel, that's going to give us this number here, 471944.5. Okay, so that's PV minus one. But what do we want? We want the present value today. So we want something at time zero. Well, if we got a number right here and we need a number at time zero, we can just compound forward one period. And so present value at time zero is simply going to be this number 471944. 0.3296 multiplied by one plus the discount rate, right? We multiply by one plus the discount rate because we are compounding forward one period. And so the answer to this problem is 500.260.99. There's our answer. And so if we're thinking about um, our indifference relationships, one would swap this amount today with this series of payments, which coincidentally the first one also happens today.